Well, we've been living with the changes brought by this pandemic for months now. And if you're feeling tired of mask wearing and social distancing, you are not alone. The Department of Health says pandemic fatigue is a thing. Coupled with nice weather and reopenings, medical experts say it's prime for letting your guard down. But there are consequences if we do. Dr. Perry Halkidis joins me to explain. He's the dean of Rutgers University Department of Urban and Global Public Health. Dr. Halkate, it's good to see you. Why is it that folks are starting to have a difficult time keeping up with all of these restrictions? Well, the, the term COVID fatigue or fatigue in general is something that we understand in health around many health conditions. In the 80s and 90s, people were talking about HIV fatigue. People have medication fatigue. The problem is that we're asking people to continue to engage in behaviors for extended period of time. And we know that human beings are challenged to even eat properly every day or go to the gym five days a week or finish all of their antibiotics. And so this is human nature. Human nature is one that wants to enjoy life and being overly regimented creates a burden on people's emotional lives and they feel fatigued. Is it a response within our brain, I mean, a stress response where we're now somewhat accustomed to this? Um, and if we haven't been impacted by it, we're more likely to ease up a little bit? People make up mythologies all the time in their minds, right? So what I'm safe because I don't leave the house. I'm safe because no one around me has died. I'm safe because, you know, I wear a mask when I walk on the street. You know, I mean, those are good strategies, right? But they are also mythologies. And so people are trying to, you know, um, cut around the rules. They're trying to take shortcuts because I think many people are just simply exhausted of being bombarded with the realities of this disease every single day. Well, some of them, of course, are easier than others, right? I mean, washing your hands certainly a lot easier than socially distancing from loved ones. Um, how do we beat the fatigue? So what I think we need to do is we have to remember, and what I've been doing throughout this epidemic, is that these strategies that we're taking, we're taking for those in our lives who are most vulnerable. For me, it's my brother who's living with MS. Do I love wearing a mask every day? Do I love constantly washing my hands? You know, these are, these are constants that I have to engage in. Do I love physically distancing from my friends? I don't love those things, but I do them. I do them because it's my responsibility to my brother. It's a responsibility to my city of Newark. It's a responsibility to my state, and it's a responsibility to my country. And that's why we have to do it. That's our motivation. What are the risks, doctor, um, if we do start to wash our hands less frequently, give hugs, kisses to loved ones. What are the risks? So this is a moment in our history of this epidemic that is potentially problematic. It's getting colder out, we're coming inside, you know, it's been six months, we're trying to take shortcuts. If we don't wash our hands consistently, if we don't wear our mask consistently, if we don't physically distance, we're going to continue to see the pattern we've been seeing, which is infections are up. Very quickly, one quick method to beat the fatigue, new mask maybe? Exercise, right? You know, you know, rewards to yourself. I think exercise is a really big one here. I think that, you know, making sure like you go online, do some exercise, keep those endorphins flowing, buy yourself a new mask, you know, reward yourself for your behaviors, right? You know, like Skinner, the psychologist said that when you like, put a little piece of cheese in the middle of the maze, the mouse goes to it. We need to reward ourselves too. And I think that is a very good strategy. Dr. Halkidis, thanks for your time. My pleasure.